Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. Today, because of the most recent release of Fujino, I kind of I kind of want to actually look at how long it's been since certain units have come back on the JP version of the game, and kind of wonder if any of these will kind of come back early on NA. So that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, as always, you can leave a like. It helps a whole bunch. It, a lot of people have been doing it recently, and I thank you a whole bunch, and that same token, subscribing also helps. And you can comment down below. I think that helps too, but whatever you feel comfortable doing, I thank you for it. Uh, let's get into it. So if you don't know what this site is, this is App Media. They usually keep track of a lot of the stuff that is like important to forgo. It's also mostly in Japanese, so that's why some of this stuff is just like funky looking to look at. It's because Google Translate's trying its damnedest. So let's go. They also have some other interesting facts here, funny enough. Like I think the most... The most pickup limited servant is Gilgamesh with 12, followed by Skahawk, Da Vinci, and Kentoki at 10, and then Shuten at 9. So if you're a fan of any of these characters, guaranteed they will come back at some point. Just wait. And then for um, units that are always in the uh, always in the banner, Karna gets the most reruns. Tamamo, followed by uh, Saber, Altera, and funny enough, Maeve. I did not think she, she she really has nine tied with Saber and Altera. I would not think that, but hey, who knew? And then I think for composites, I think those are the ones where it just features a bunch of units, but doesn't actually um, put them on raid up of any kind. Saber's at number one with 28, <laughs> followed by Mo and Altera, and then Karna at 25. So respectable numbers. So for limited five stars, the last time we got um, Shiki was two years and six months ago. Collab unit. Funny enough, on the JP, I actually am going to be curious to look this up because I wonder how Fujino ranks on here, but um, pretty high up there. I think currently on JP, at least, the one that's been waiting the most for it to come back. And the one that usually, similar to Fujino, it would take a while because they are collab units, or at least that's the idea. And then funny enough, both the Musashis, the original Saber one, it's been two years and two months since she come back. And I have a feeling there is a very good reason for that that I won't get into. <laughs> and probably the same thing goes for Swimsuit Musashi to a certain extent. So, pretty interesting. Funny enough, this list used to be used to be way crazier until they started actually bringing back some units for this year, such as uh, Arjuna Altar and stuff like that. But it does actually make me wonder if maybe we'll get Arjuna Alter a little bit earlier um, than when JP got them. It'd be kind of nice. It wouldn't be nice for the people who aren't expecting it <laughs> because they'll have they'll probably spend a couple stuff on whatever. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It's tricky. It's a very tricky game here to be playing. To be 100% real with you, I don't like the idea 100%. But it is kind of exciting when it happens. So. In terms of limited four stars, number one on JP. Funny enough, even though she came out, this app doesn't consider it because she's a composite character, so she doesn't have a rate up. She's just there with other characters. So for them, it's still been four years and one month since she had a solo rate up of any kind. Followed up by uh, Swimsuit Mave. Is it really funny that the. Yeah, okay. Uh, Swimsuit Mave and uh, Ushiwakumaru. Both sharing at two years and eleven months. Neither one of them came back, or has come back yet. Though I think Maeve actually came back with the most recent one, but not on a solo rate up. And then there's also swimsuit Ibaraki as well. Who? How did she get two years and nine months when she came out the same? Huh. I don't know. Weird. Maybe she was featured on something a little bit later. Hmm. Oni Land, that's right, my brother just reminded me, Oni Land. I was wondering what it was that two month gap, but that's funny that they would have included, huh. Oh, I forgot she was in Oni Land, that's right. And then the limited uh, three star servants, it's Mori with seven months and Izo with less than a month since returning. Izo will usually come back pretty easily, so not too bad. Though they don't make mention of any of the other ones, but I guess the other ones aren't limited, they're story locked, which is different, so. Anyway, let's go. So the way that this site composites it's here is that the they go by solo rate up, but then if you're included in a composite or something like that, I think they explain a little bit here, like 
The unprinted period ranking excludes reprints of non-reprinted gotchas such as anniversary gotchas and whole treasures including swimsuits. Um, so they make two notes of it to say like how long has it been since one of those compared to everything else. So the number one servant that it's actually a three-way tie in terms of units that have it's been a very long time since their raid up since a solo raid up that they've had. It's actually Marie, Steno, and Heracles. <laughs> they never got one in the entire history of the game. <laughs> Going almost seven years since either any of them have ever been featured. Funny, I'm actually kind of surprised Heracles has never had any form of a solo raid up. He was a MVP back in the day, but if you actually look at them being included as in not in solo raid up, but they are on the banner, they've had plenty. Like the last one Marie had was a year ago in three months. A year ago and three months for Steno, a year ago and three months for Hercule Heracles, and they've had uh, been reprinted 13, 11, and 14 times, so you've had plenty of chances to get them, but it is kind of funny to think about these like starting characters. Out of all the starters, they're the only starters, I think, that have not gone in a specific solo raid up day, which is funny to think about. And then also following up, we have the Yuri twins right here. Six years and eight months since they had a solo raid up on Oceanus way back when that released. And in terms of composites, it's been a year and three months. Now we can go down here a little bit more. You can see here Lancelot. The last time he was featured solo was six years and three months ago. And then on composites, it's been one year and three months. Now here's the one that probably is the legitimate first one, which is uh, Kiyohime, who is four years and one month going since a solo raid up. But I think this one might be slightly outdated because it does say one year and one month, which doesn't make sense because she was on one recently. But anyway, two and four here. Then it's kind of Donzo with three years, eight months, one year and three months since the last one. Two, two times been on a solo uh, feature, eight times if you count the composites. Then we have uh, Neza at three years, eight months. Martha at three years, seven months. <laughs> a lot of the four stars are the ones that take a long time. A five star, well, they'll usually wait within the two year period to come back. But some of these four stars have crazy wait times, though thankfully for a lot of the ones that are always in the banner, they usually come back on composites a whole bunch. Like for example, Martha coming back in seven months from here. Um, and we got Assassin, three years and two months. And then we have Swimsuit, Maeve, and Ushiwakamaru and Ibaraki, two years, 11 months. Funny enough though, Maeve apparently got one back a year ago and won the month. Ushiwakamaru has only come back twice in the entire period of time. Ibaraki has come back at least three times regularly with the solo raid up potential and then four times as a composite. And that's kind of crazy when you look at it this way. That out of all the- why did Ushiwakamaru never come back a whole bunch? Maybe it's her kit? I mean she kind of has the worst aging kit maybe out of all of them. Yeah, I really, really wanted her to be better than she ended up being. I tried hard. I invested a lot of it, but she just wasn't there for quick farming on Assassin, which is a shame. She could use a buff of some kind to help with that a little bit. She, Her kit on paper looks like it'd be fantastic for it, but then when you actually use her, it's not the greatest for it, which is a shame because I love her for sure. And then here we go. Makes a little bit more sense here with Shiki. Two years, six months. And then Tomoe four times nine two years and six months saber altar two years five months uh emia altar two years five months two years four months cersei medusa two years and three months but if you look at the composite it's been at least a year since the anniversary stuff one year and three months for all of them uh and then here we go here's some actual more units that have never been reprinted a bit um two years and one month only one time have we gotten um everyone's favorite dino mama which is a shame. I don't. Did the Requiem not come back yet on JP? I could have swore it did, but apparently it hasn't. Or was it two years ago when it came back? I actually don't know. Well, according to this, it was in 2020. So yeah, that was two years ago. Then we recently got it. And she's only come back once? Really? That's crazy. Damn, no rerun at all. Shit, I missed my one chance of getting her then. It's gonna be a long ass time. But maybe on, on AA I'll get a little bit lucky and she'll 
come back at some point. She is usually featured on GSSRs, so hopefully I'll one day get her there. But looking at this, they just kind of bring in stark contrast how long I'll have to wait for this one. And then, of course, Swimsuit Masashi and then Swimsuit um, Hime over here. Two years, two years, respectively. Only two times I've ever come back. Lakshima, two years. Li Shawen, one year. Somehow, Finn McCool has not come back in a year and nine months. Which feels like he would have come back a little bit more by now. It's weird to think about. The same thing goes for... I don't know why he's called Sword Del on here. <laughs> it's a great name, though. One year and nine months. So that obviously means when the last time it happened, they were both literally on the same banner. And the same thing goes for the one year and three months as well. And, and then we have the world's angriest man, Ashiwatahama. I think, I don't know how you pronounce that name. But yeah, one year, eight months. Nursery Rhyme, one year, eight months. Mysterious Heroine XX, one year, eight months. And then Swimsuit Raiko, one year, eight months. And then funny enough, regular Raiko, one year, seven months. What's funny here is that actually the Raiko, who's a five star, has come back six times. But she's never come back on a composite. Now that I look at it, same thing goes for Heroine XX and the Swimsuit uh, Raiko. Swimsuit Raiko's come back four times, the five stars come back six times, heroines come back three times, but they've never been featured on a composite banner at all. So, interesting. It is interesting to think about which ones they think about, like, yeah, we can just uh, swap in one of these units to kind of go with the composite, but for some reason these, they're like, no, we know for a fact if someone wants heroine XX that they want her on a solo feature, and they'll wait for it. Maybe that's, maybe I'm reading too much into it, but it sure seems that way to me, looking at it. We got Mid uh, Media Lily, one year, seven month. Beowulf, one year, six month. Swimsuit Martha, one year, six month. Uh, and then here we have some more, four units that have all not ever been on composite ones, which also kind of feeds into the, th the fact that I think they might be super popular, which is why they don't do it most of the time. Uh, well, to be fair, on the case of Muramasa, one year and six months. Has it really, has he only ever really come out once? That's fucking insane. Isn't he an anniversary unit? He's a New Year's unit. Wasn't he back for New Year's this year? Was he not? Apparently, according to this, he didn't. He has not been featured since New Year's 2021, which means he was not on the New Year's banner 2022. I'm gonna have my brother look that up real quick as I go for the other one. Superman Orion, one year six months. Abigail, one year six months. Uh, space. That's fucking crazy. He has, I've got confirmation. He has not been reran since that. That's crazy, man. Not even for the anniversary. They usually do it for the, for the New Year's unit, not for anniversary, but you know, that's crazy. They must know this man's a gold mine. Whenever they need money, they're just going to drop him and then they'll be good from that point on. That's, that's kind of crazy to me, but heroin X. Yeah, that's yeah, that's definitely more of an incentive to not miss him on his original banner. That or you're gonna be praying to the GSSR to get him. Heroin XX one year six months. Yagyu one year six months or one year and three months based off of composites. Queerness has not come back in a year and two and five months. Voyager one year. How did Voyager come back but Mama didn't come back? That's weird. So Voyager has come back twice, but it must have not been for Requiem because it's something CBC 2021. So it must have not been a Requiem rerun. Interesting. Ah, oh, the Caldea Boys Collection. That's what CBC stands for. Uh, funny enough, Fergus has not had a solo rate up in one year and three months. <laughs> so I think we're good to stop right here if we're hitting the three stars. But I'm actually kind of curious to see. Uh, yeah, I guess Fergus, Child Gill. All, I think this has to be all the three stars. No, actually none of them. All up until Hoisin, and then it's Rama up next. Interesting. Moriarty, most have Yeah, these are all the ones that have just been recently rerun, so we don't have to go too crazy into it. So, yeah. It's very interesting to kind of look at this and think about, like, what could potentially be coming early for NA. There's definitely some stuff where it's like it makes sense for them to come in. There's also some units here who have never had any form of a solo rate up that I think it would be kind of interesting if maybe NA decided to give them solo reruns. Like, I'm not saying anyone in the world at this point needs a Heracles because he's on the, you know, the starting ticket. 
But, you know, maybe if there was ever a time where it made sense, maybe give him a little solo rate up. But maybe they don't want to give people him, give him a solo rate up because they know his, his like, because obviously Marie and Steno are here because they're on the weaker side of the beginning starters, especially Steno. Like, no one's surprised that Steno has never had a solo single rate up because no one would actually want to summon just for her except for hardcore Steno thams. But Heracles for sure. If you give if you gave people the option to say, here's a chance of getting an MP5 Herc, they would definitely take the chance for it because they love him. And especially now with the coin system, there would probably be some whales who would definitely go for it as well. Huh. Interesting stuff. Interesting to look at. I think I'll pop into this every once in a while. We'll come back here in four years and see how it changes. See if they ever... Re now I'm going to be always laser focused to see if they ever give a solo... Uh, rate up banner to Marie Steno or her <laughs> just because they've never had one <laughs> But yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about for this video mm. It leaves me interested to see kind of what stuff kind of it also makes me really Damn, I can't believe that I still I'm still in all of the specific reveal that Muramasa did not come back the next year for New Year's 2022 That's crazy But yeah even fucking Orion came back for came back faster than Muramasa did. I don't I don't know. That's interesting. That has to be a case of this guy paying so much money that they don't have to. They only really want to release him when they feel like it. That makes especially with GSSR out now. They really only they want to hold on to him or something. Or pity, I should not say. I should say pity instead of GSSR, two different things. But anyway, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.